guys welcome back to my channel my name is Angel B and if you don't know me hi how are you welcome to my channel and if you've been with me for a while thank you for all the love and all the support um, this look that I did I wanted to dip into the Jaclyn Hill volume 2 palette that I had um, ordered and then I had ordered the Morphe bronzer um, and then I also ordered the Jaclyn Hill highlighter palette which looks like this and it is really gorgeous I love it um, everything that I used um, will be in the description down below so don't forget to like share and subscribe and stay tuned so you can see how I beat my face Alright guys, so I'm going to start off with P. Louise Base in 04. That way I have um, a clean canvas to work on. So I'm going to start off with the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette and the shade is Homeboy. And I'm going to just go ahead and put that into my crease and I'm going to blend it up but not all the way to my brow bone. Okay, so the next shade I'm going to go into is Crazy, and I'm going to go ahead and put that into my crease. And I'm going to just keep blending and blending and blending and building up the shade as dark as I would like it. Alright, so I'm going to go back into the shade Homeboy and I'm just going to soften up the edges. Um, that way everything is well blended together. So you want to make sure that you go back and forth between the shades that you do put down. That way everything blends well. Okay, so I wanted my crease to be a little bit more darker. So I went into the shade Temptress and I'm going to just use a small Morphe brush to stencil that into my crease and then also blend it out. So here I'm just going back and forth between the three shades that I did put down, I'm trying to get everything to blend as well as possible. Okay, so to cut my crease, I'm going to use the P. Louise Acid Rain um, Blank Canvas, and I'm going to just use the brush that I brought with the whole kit, um, and I'm going to just stencil out the shape that I would like.
so now I'm gonna go back into the shade crazy and I'm gonna put that like near the corner of my eye not all the way um, that way I can blend the black into the burgundy Alright, so now I'm going to go into the shade Heart On, and then I'm going to place that right beside the burgundy shade. And then once I put it down, then I'll start blending them together. Alright, so I'm going to go into the shade Temptress again, and I'm going to put that on the outer corner with a fluffy brush, and then I'm going to blend it into the burgundy. Alright, so now I'm going to go into the shade I'm In It, and I'm going to put that on the inner corner of my eye and blend it into the pink. And then I'll go back in with the pink and blend it all together and just put all the shades back in there and blend it. Okay, so for the liner, I just did a black wing liner, and then I'm using um, some glitter glue, and I'm just putting it over the liner, and then I'm going to use a black and pink glitter, which I mix together, um, and then place it on the wing. Okay, so just because I'm extra, I'm going to go in with the ColourPop um, in the glitter, and it's the Disco Lady. And I'm going to just go ahead and put this on the inner corner, just a little bit over into the pink. Okay, and to prime my face, I'm going to go into the Tatcha um, Silk Canvas Primer. Okay, and then I'm going to go into Melt Cosmetics, and I'm going to use the Hydro Grip Primer. Okay, and then for foundation, I'm going to use the Too Faced Born This Way, and I'm in Butter Pecan, and I'm going to just put that all over my face. I don't swipe, I just pat it all over. So it may look like I'm sweeping, but I'm not. Okay, so one of my favorite things to do is use some setting spray after I apply my foundation. Alright, and so for concealer, I'm going to use the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Concealer, and I'm in the shade Warm Sand, and I'm going to just apply that under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, a little bit, did I, I don't remember if I did my forehead, but I know I did my chin. So on this part, I do go off camera, only because I was trying to listen to some music while I was doing my makeup. To blend out my concealer, I use a small um, sponge and I just go in a patent motion. And then once I blend that out, I do go back in with my foundation brush to smooth out the edges so that everything is well blended. Okay, so to contour my face, I do use the Black Opal Foundation Stick. Um, it's in Beautiful, I want to say it's Beautiful Bronze. Um, and I do spray my face with setting spray and then I go ahead and blend it out. To me, that way everything blends well together, but everybody does it differently.
okay so I did pick up the um, Morphe bronzer and let me tell you something I love this bronzer like because I've been out in the sun so like this this bronzer does does me justice Okay, so I'm going to use the Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder to go ahead and set my face. Okay, so this is the final look and I hope that you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.